Hard work to me means working maybe without acknowledgement. It means working when it's cold and when it's dark, when nobody else is willing to. Veterans, they know what hard work is. Come here. Come on. Come on, girls. Let's go. They know that it can get so much worse. Farming isn't the rosy red picture of a barn on a cereal box. It's dirty and it's sweaty and it's smelly. This property was not a farm when we got here. Everything was 10 feet tall with blackberries and poison oak. It had been abandoned for several years. It took us four hours to hack our way to the top of the property with a machete. It was totally worth it and I had all the energy because I was fueled by love. I married so far above my station, it's ridiculous. She's my better half by far. Tyler is the love of my life. Liz is brilliant. So we met online. It was love at first sight. Day two, he proposed, and I said yes. I never realized how much my military service actually helped him, because he had someone he could relate to and talk with. I enlisted in the Army in 1996. I spent the first year and a half at Fort Lewis uh, with 2nd ID. Spent most of my time actually in the field. We go out for 90 days at a time and do everything from desert training to cold weather training. I got this picture taken during one of my trainings. Me hauling lots of gear and moving around with my M16. My first duty station was at a combat support hospital in South Korea, and they threw me into the crews that were picking up the soldiers that came off of the flights from Iraq, who had freshly amputated arms and legs and covered in sand. I remember hitting my knees in the desert, going, God, if you'll just let me get home, I will spend every single day grateful and appreciative. Tyler had quite a bit of struggle with PTSD and his adjustment to civilian life. It was a combination of some pretty intense physical injuries. I shattered both arms, my back's broken in four spots. Liz found that a lot of the pain was due to inflammation, which was really a result of the foods that I was eating. So originally when Liz decided to go chemical free, it was because she had been diagnosed with esophageal cancer. Long story short, I learned that what I was taking into my body had a drastic effect on my health. And I really wanted to do the same with Tyler. Just through diet and change in lifestyle, she was able to reverse her esophageal cancer, um, was able to reduce my inflammation. I've lost 80 pounds. My energy level is higher than it's ever been. We decided to go 100% organic. Our food bill went to over $1,200 a month overnight. What does the rest of the world do if they want to get chemical free? Because $1,200 a month is outrageous. So we started to raise all our own food. Phoebe, Julie, come here. We started getting more chickens and more turkeys and we started getting cows and pigs. We saw our health improving and our friends and family did too. So they started asking us for eggs, meat, Produce. It really started growing organically, pardon the pun. So the food pantry got started by accident when we were sourcing fresh fruits and vegetables for livestock feed. And they pulled the pallets out of the, the truck that was gonna go to the dump and load it into our truck. We bring it here and unload it and sort good from bad. And a gigantic percent of them were still incredibly beautiful. And so we announced on social media that we had a bunch of excess. We called it Free Vegetable Friday. We received over 300 emails that night these parents saying we haven't had any produce in our home this year. So not only is it saving hundreds of thousands of cubic feet from the landfill, but it's feeding thousands of families and then raising livestock that feeds hundreds of families in return. And so there really is almost no waste. Kids were just thrilled. They would eat it right out of the bins. The food pantry also provides an opportunity for people to come help be a part of a solution. We have quite a few veterans that come out and spend time. We like to focus on helping vets that are coming back from deployment back into the civilian sector. Veterans make wonderful volunteers, great contractors, amazing leaders. 
One, two, three. There we go. Seeing disabled vets do more than most fully capable people can on their best day. It's all about heart and passion and desire. And set. You know, there's no test in the world that can measure the heart of a champion. Let's dig in. Right. We've got sailed over to here. be able to support those who have made that yeah. sacrifice, it yeah. feels amazing to be able to give back, to open our home and our land to them, right. to help them heal. It's pretty incredible. You know, when you go into this service, you are serving a higher purpose. When the goal is service, and that takes priority over the dollars, it creates a different energy and a different movement. That service fills a hole that can be challenging to fill otherwise. Hands in the soil is healing for everybody, regardless of their background. People from all walks of life, and they all come together for united purpose. What was inside was a passion to serve and a passion to, to help this country. What matters is inside. You can revolutionize your health. You can serve the community. Don't let self-doubt or lack of experience or lack of resources stop you. Everything's available if you just want it bad enough.